What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am back with another testing out TikTok food hacks. You guys really seem to enjoy these videos. So in today's video, I'm going to let you know if these food hacks are good or bad. So before we get started with today's video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Let's try to get today's video to 30,000 likes. I know we can make it happen. Hit that bell so I can notify you whenever I post a brand new video and subscribe to my channel so you can keep on growing. Now without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started okay so for food hack number one I've been seeing this all over TikTok, and as soon as I saw it I knew I had to give it a try so now there's a way of how you can make mini pancakes cereal it sounds crazy right let me just show you and get started with food hack at number one. So I have my pan nice and hot and I'm going to go ahead and take my butter and evenly coat the pan. Now I already worked on my pancake mix which is right here. You can take a bottle like this or even use a Ziploc bag. Now we're just going to start creating our mini pancakes just like that. So you wanna do that eventually until you fill up your entire pan. The real question is how am I going to flip all of these mini pancakes? And oh my God, my trifolia right now is kicking in. The more little pancakes I create, the more like my skin and like my scalp is starting to itch. If you guys don't know what trifolia is, Google it. And I guarantee you, I don't know about you guys, but me, when I see like a whole bunch of little small dots, it just makes everything like, oh, I get like something guys, like anxiety. Okay, so there's really no way of flipping them over besides doing this. Oh my god, okay, hold on. Maybe just doing that, and then do that. No, I'll connect me. I know! Okay. I'm just gonna do this over Maybe and do over. A, you know, do a little chef moment. Ooh. Oh, cameraman, that's his hidden talent if you guys didn't know. Oh, oh, oh wow, okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and grab my plate. We're gonna put the first batch here. I think I should do another round so we can have a good amount of little pancakes just to give it a fair shot and a taste test. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my bowl and then I'm gonna do a second batch. One eternity later. These are the last set of mini pancakes. So we are set to go. I have my bowl full of them. This looks really good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my syrup and we're gonna drizzle some syrup on top of the mini pancakes just a little fun. bit. Now we're going to put some milk in here because of course this is a mini pancake cereal. So let's put some milk in here. Just like that. Mmm, okay. Here comes the fun part, and my favorite part, trying these things out, okay? Give it a nice little mix. Okay. Oh <laughs> no, really? It looks really good. It is so good. Oh my God, from a one to 10, this is a 10 for me. This is really good. I'm definitely gonna have this again. Mm, so good. Okay, so for food hack number two, you guys know that I had to include a Chick-fil-A hack in this video. So I found a hack on how we can take a spicy chicken sandwich, but we're gonna go ahead and take it to another level. Let me go ahead and show you. So I have all of my ingredients right here in front of me. So we have our side of bacon, we have our mac and cheese, and we have our spicy chicken sandwich, of course. So I previously have tried a Chick-fil-A sandwich with mac and cheese, and I must say, I really wasn't a huge fan of it. I was kind of like 50-50, but when I saw this one with bacon, I was like, okay, let's give it a try because bacon has a lot of flavor, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. I'm gonna take my fork and I'm going to mix it all together. We're going to go ahead and open this up and we are going to put some mac and cheese in here with our bacon bits. Mm. That's what it looks like. We have the mac and cheese, we have the bacon and the spicy chicken sandwich. That was literally just like a bite of just chicken. Hold on. Let me get to the mac and cheese. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. 
so the spicy chicken is pretty spicy but i feel like the mac and cheese just kind of like evens it out it's kind of like less spicy and then the bacon is like that nice little crunch a nice little extra kick of flavor overall this is really good i have to give this a 9 out of 10. don't mind me i'm gonna go ahead and keep on eating this Okay, so for this next food hack, there's not really a clip that I can show you because this food hack, I made it up in a way, kind of. As some of you guys might know, some of you guys might not know, I used to work at In-N-Out Burger and during my break, I would always get, not always, but sometimes, <laughs> I would get a Flying Dutchman with fries, grilled onion, and spread and just mix it all together. And it was like the best thing ever ever it was so good so let me go ahead and tell you guys all your ingredients you need to make this food hack from in and out all you need to do is just order a flying dutchman and a flying dutchman is basically two pieces of patty with two um, pieces of cheese in the middle that's basically it and then you just get um fries with grilled onions and spread on top it's basically just like animal fries but without the cheese so this is what a flying dutchman looks like you see it's basically just meat with cheese but this is so good this is the little tray that it comes in so you're just gonna use the exact same tray and then you're basically just going to make it into tiny little pieces so that's basically all I'm gonna do we're now going to take our fries with grilled onion Ta -da! and they were nice enough to put a little bit of spread on top but I'm gonna be adding even more spread because that is the key to this this is what it looks like it's just the fries with the grilled onion the spread and the meat with the cheese now I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all together <laughs> Looking at this, this does not look good, but trust me, it's really, really good. It's one of those things that you kind of just look at it, you're like, oh, no thank you. But then when you try, you're like, oh yeah. So we're going to go ahead and take a piece of the meat with the cheese, the fries with the grilled onion. All right, let's take a bite. Mmm. Mm. I also forgot to tell you guys, if you guys like things a little bit more like on the spicy side, ask for the yellow chili peppers and take some of the juice and just squirt it on top. Just cut it into tiny little pieces and put it inside of this and oh my god, it is so good. If you guys end up trying it, please send me a message telling me if you like it or tag me on your Instagram so I can repost you on my story. I'm going to go ahead, keep on eating this and then we're going to move on to food hack number three. For our next food hack, we are going to Taco Bell. So I personally love burritos from Taco Bell. So when I saw this on TikTok, this is basically a burrito to like another whole different level and it looks so cheesy, so good. I can't wait to try it out. So let me go ahead and show you guys what this burrito is all about. guys I got everything I needed so I ordered it exactly how it said in the TikTok so this is a bean and cheese burrito add beef topped with red sauce and melted cheese so shut up shut up bish this is <laughs> this is not like the TikTok what the heck? It was supposed to be like in a little container with like the red sauce and the melted cheese. I mean, she seemed like she knew what I was talking about. She was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And she like typed it and everything. And I get this. <laughs> but it's okay. We're going to make the best out of it. We're still going to try the burrito. Everything is like inside of the burrito versus like outside. So there's the beef, cheese, red sauce, and the beans so everything is basically inside versus like having it on the outside so i'm still gonna give it a try oh bish Ooh, this is good it would have taste 10 times better if it did have the red sauce on top and like the melted cheese because it would have given like so much more flavor overall the burrito i would rate it an 8 out of 10. i think it's a really pretty good burrito but would i have liked to try it the way on the tiktok yes of course but sometimes things go not so good not as we planned so Overall, I still like the burrito. I give it an 8 out of 10. All right, for our next food hack, I am definitely ready for some dessert after eating all of this food. So I did find this food hack from McDonald's, how to take a Sunday to another level and kind of make a Sunday pie. 
Let me go ahead and just show you guys. McDonald's pack. First, you order a small soft serve. Second, you order the cherry cream pie. So as you guys saw, all we need is a cherry cream pie and we need a plain sundae. That's basically all just that I ordered, a plain sundae. So we're gonna go ahead and take our um, cherry cream pie I got an apple pie. Bish, I specifically said a cream, cherry cream pie. And she said, okay, I got that down for you. She could have easily told me we don't have a cherry cream pie. We only have apple pie. And she lied to me. She got my hopes up. Oh, no, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, it is a cherry cream pie. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take some of this cherry cream pie and we're gonna put little pieces inside of the sundae. I've been craving this all day. I kid you guys not. I was like, oh my God, when am I gonna go to McDonald's? Am I almost done? Because this just looks so good. Okay, now let's go ahead and try it out. Here we go. That's what it looks like. Let's give it a try. Oh my God, the cherry filling is nice and warm. The pie is nice and crunchy. And then the ice cream with the cream cheese. This is a 10 and a half. 10 and a half out of 10, that's how freaking good this is. This is really good. So for this next food hack, I love McDoubles and Hot and Spicies, but I never thought of combining them together. So I'm very excited to try this out. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. my hot and spicy here so we're gonna open our mug double and we're going to spread it in half like this now we're going to stuff our burger inside the chicken one and we're gonna take the other part and put it on top like that now to me personally this looks like a little too much bread for me everyone is very different but I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to take a bite of this because this is huge um, but I'm still gonna give it a try. We're gonna try it out and then I'm gonna try it out without so many layers of bread and kind of like putting my own little twist to it. But I wanna try it like this first because I don't know, it might be really good. So, okay, let's give it a try. I can't even bite into it because it's that freaking big. Okay, I don't know how to feel about this one. I feel like there was so many things going on in my mouth that my taste buds got hella confused. They were like, what's going on? Maybe I need to take another bite. Let's take another bite. For some reason, I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm not. Okay, I did this. This is what I did. I basically just took out the chicken patty and put it in the middle of the McDouble. That's what we did. So we're gonna try this out now. See if maybe I like this better. Let's give it another try. Oh yeah, I like that way better. Yeah, I feel like these two pieces of bread were kind of like unnecessary. Now, do I love it? No, but it's still better than with the extra layer of bread. I would rate this probably a five out of 10. I feel like it's not bad, but it's not good. I feel that the reason I don't like it is because there's too much going on that my taste buds just get hella confused. I'm like, what am I eating right now? So since I really wasn't a big fan of this McDonald's hack, let's try another McDonald's food hack, okay? Because I feel like you can't go wrong with chicken nuggets. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So all we're gonna need is a four count nugget. You need some ranch and you need some buffalo sauce. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and dump the ranch and the buffalo sauce in here and then we're gonna toss it all together and then we're gonna give it a try. Nuggets, ranch, and buffalo sauce. Look at that. Mmm. My mouth is watering right now. All right, let's give this a try. This is basically like a boneless buffalo wing. Yeah. That's exactly what it reminds me of. 
a boneless buffalo wing. I love how I still get the taste of the buffalo, but it's like extra creamy because of the ranch. I have to rate this a 10 out of 10. This is really good. All right, guys, that is the Ooh. end of today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Let's try to get today's video to 30,000 likes. I know we can make it happen. Subscribe to my channel so we can keep on growing and hit the bell so I can notify you whenever I post a brand new video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for all the love and all the support. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.